morning. I'm Lindy Wekele, Deputy City Manager for Strategy, Development and Implementation in the City of Tswane, South Africa. Um, thank you for joining us here at World Travel Markets. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your activities here this year? Uh, the City of Tswane is very excited to be at the World Travel Market this year because we've got such exciting uh, reveal uh, tomorrow at the end at the South African High Commission at the, at the Embassy, whereby we will be unveiling the new developments that are taking place in the city. As you know that uh, the city of Tswane is now one of the largest metropolis in Africa, third largest in the world in terms of landmass after Oklahoma and New York. Mm -hmm. uh, this gives us an opportunity to really uh, re-engineer the city mm -hmm. and also change the geopolitical face of the city. But what is more important from a tourism development point of view, mm -hmm. we believe we've got a credible tourism product to sell. We are the only city in South Africa that has the big five um, in terms of the game. Mm -hmm. And next year we're hosting our inaugural Twani Open, uh, which is part of the European tour. So people will get to enjoy the game and golf. But more importantly, the Zool Nat National Zoological Gardens is there, mm -hmm. and we've got such a credible um, uh, um, uh, struggle a route mm -hmm. that we have as a city. Mm -hmm. The most visited attraction um, mm -hmm. is in Twane, which is the Fort Tracker Monument, which is the second most visited after mm -hmm. Robben Island in South Africa. So we believe that it's about time mm -hmm. that we really reclaim our space on the international platform, and there's no better platform than the World Travel Market because that's where most of our trade partners are at, and it's important that we really showcase what we've got to offer and how we differentiate us ourselves mm -hmm. against other attractions in South Africa. And as a capital city, of course, we mirror the aspirations of South Africa, and we believe we've got something to show. That's great, thank you. And um, other than um, the UK market, which other markets will you be looking to tap into, especially um, to come and visit the destination? We're actually looking at Asia. I mean, as you know, um, the European uh, market right now, because of the Eurozone crisis, it, it, it's quite it's, it's fizzling, but we're still getting some numbers from Europe. But what is interesting is that we're getting more and more of our numbers from, uh, from China. Um, and India, and obviously as a BRICS country as well, uh, the mayor, we've been doing roadshows in, in Asia, as well as South America, mm -hmm. all the BRICS countries really, so that we are able to leverage from there. But more importantly, it's really about spend. Mm -hmm. We believe that uh, the Chinese market, they love the game drives, mm -hmm. they love history, architecture, mm -hmm. um, and as a city, we believe we have something to give to them. So the UK market will always be our, 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 our top of mind, um, our source market, but um, Asia as well, it, 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 and, and South America, it, it, it's, it's quite uh, our, our target mm. audience and our target market, yeah. That's great, thank you. And just finally, where can visitors um, find more information about the destination? You have um, a new website. Absolutely, yeah, we've got uh, www.twane.gov.za, mm -hmm. as well as they can follow us on social media at City of Twane, as well as on Facebook. Um, and then also visit twenty uh, dot co dot za. That's great. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.